Hi, my name is Peter Schultz. This is part two of the introduction to WP Data Access version 5. This video covers widget sharing and future plans. It presumes you have already watched part one of this video and that you are familiar with dashboards and widgets. I will use the dashboards and widgets created in part one to demonstrate widget sharing and some other features I have not yet, yet mentioned. At the end of this video, I will give you an idea of our future plans for version 5.1 and 5.2. There are three ways to share a widget. You can share widgets on dashboards, on public pages using a short code, and on external pages using a long code, which is a new concept in WordPress. Let's see how each of them works. For this demo, I will use two browsers, one to log in as admin and one to log in as user demo. I created the demo user to show how you can share widgets in the dashboard. The demo user has the subscriber role, which is the minimum default WordPress role required to access the WordPress dashboard. In this browser, I am logged in as admin. We can see the dashboards and widgets created in part one of this video. By default, only admin users have access to dashboards and widgets. Let's switch to my second browser and log in as user demo. When I log in as user demo, I can see that the user demo has no access to WP Data Dashboard. Let's give user demo access to the dashboard. You must be an admin user to give a user access to dashboards. To give a user access, go to Plugin Settings. Select Tab Dashboards. And here you can either give user roles access or specific users. For the demo user, which has the subscriber role, I could just select the subscriber role. But I could also just give the user demo access. The difference is that if I give the subscriber role access to dashboards, then all users having that role will have access to dashboards. Now for this demo, I will give only user demo access. If you want to give access to multiple users or multiple user roles, hold down the control key and select multiple users or multiple user roles. You need to do the same to deselect some users or deselect them all. Now for this demo, I will give only use a demo access to dashboards. Now let's see if this works. And we can see that this user now has access to dashboards. You can see here that the user can create new dashboards so that this user can design his own dashboards. You can see that this user can add widgets, but cannot create widgets himself. Um, and this user has only access to widgets um, that have been defined as shareable for this user or this user role. Now, so far, we haven't yet shared any widgets. So that is the next step. To give user demo access to my widgets, I need to be logged in as admin. Click on the share link at the top of the widget. The plugin lists granted user roles and users only. For our demo, I will give user demo access to the widget. Now let's switch to, user, to the user demo browser and see if this works. Here is our widget. And let's add it. Great, let's add some more widgets.
You can also share your widgets on public pages using a shortcode. Here is an empty public page on my demo WordPress site. Let's add a widget to my public page. Again, click the share link on the top of the widget. Copy the shortcode to your clipboard by clicking on it. Don't forget to enable usage for posts and pages depending on your needs. I have already enabled both. Let's add the widget. Great! Now you know how to add charts to your public pages and posts. This works similar for all widget types except for publications and projects. Publications and projects can be added with their own shortcodes. The plugin will automatically copy the correct shortcodes to your clipboard. Long codes are completely new. You can use long codes to share widgets on external pages. Here is a static page which contains just some HTML and CSS. Adding a widget to an external page works similar to adding a widget on public pages. The only difference is that you need to use the long code instead of the short code. Let's go to the dashboard. Click on the share link in the top of the widget. Copy the long code. Here is my HTML code of my static page. Let's add the long code below the headers and save the file. <coughs> if we refresh the page, you can see sorry embedding panel sales is not allowed. The widget usage on external web pages is blocked by default. So you have to allow widget usage explicitly for every widget. Let's do that. And it now shows our bar chart and it also shows our drop down list which allows us to um, use multiple views. We have seen three different ways to share widgets for different purposes. Please note that widgets are styled differently on dashboards, public pages and external pages. Widgets on dashboard are styled by the plugin. This cannot be changed. It is needed to keep, to keep dashboards and widgets clean. Styling can be added on public and external pages. Please visit the plugin website for more information about styling publications and projects on public pages. Custom styling on external pages can be added by the webmaster. There are two more features worth mentioning here. The first one is the layout styling of charts. Chart layout styling is available from the layout icon at the top of the widget. I presume you are able to find out yourself how this works. It isn't very hard. Just try the different combinations. Please use the forum if you have any questions. The second feature worth mentioning is that the result of a chart query can be cached. Please use the settings icon at the top of the chart widget. Charts are based on SQL queries. Caching query results can help to prevent many users running the same query simultaneously and exhausting resources. If enabled, the query result is cached as a JSON object. I like to finish this video with the announcement of some of our future plans. Queries are used in charts and are planned to be supported in publications as well. Other new features 
using queries are also planned for the future. So the query builder is going to play an important role in some plugin features. To help plugin users having no or little SQL knowledge to write queries, a visual query builder component is planned for the first quarter of 2022. It will be part of version 5.1. The Visual Query Builder component will be available for free and premium users. Many plugin users have asked for support to connect to foreign database management systems, data files and data services. Although the plugin already contains all necessary features to support these connections, setting up a proxy server and connections have shown to be too complex for most plugin users. A proxy service including a wizard to set up foreign connections is planned for summer 2022. This will be a premium service. Let's summarize the new features. Dashboards and widgets are available to free and premium users. Saving and sharing widgets requires a premium license. Project widgets are only available to premium users. Custom code widgets require the code manager to be installed. So, upgrade to version 5 or download it if you're not using WP Data Access yet. And upgrade to premium, you're supporting the development team. Please use the forum if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.